Hey guys, it's Louise and this is my second video tutorial this evening and as I said previously in the last one, this one is going to be all about metadata and how to manage metadata, how to create metadata templates and what it is. Um, okay, essentially what is metadata? Metadata is by definition data about data. Try working that one out, it's going to hurt your head. Essentially all metadata is is that it's a bunch of information about your images like what focal length it was taken on, what ISO it was shot on, what kind of camera it was shot on, what date it was shot on, all of these kind of things. That is essentially what your metadata is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to open up Bridge CS3. Okay so as you can see I have mine automatically to open up in the film strip view. So I already have a bunch of Nikon RAW files here. Um, you and if you're watching, <laughs> sucks to be you. Um, yeah, so essentially, uh, these are a bunch of files of mine. Now, if I mean the reason you would create a metadata template is, for instance, if you are a student photographer or even just a photography enthusiast who is uploading a lot onto sites such as. Flickr, maybe a blog site, then it's always good to have that metadata template so that if anyone does happen to save your image off of the web and try and pass it off as their own, you can have it down as copyrighted so they cannot right click and save it and also so that your name will appear in the information of it. So what we do is, if you've never created a metadata template before, what we do is we go up to the menu bar and we go to tools and very simply we select create metadata template. Okay, yep, second try. Um, my computer has been rather awkward this evening. So what you get is this little pop-up window turning up. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine random, just because I can. Okay, what you have here is essentially a set of fields that you can fill in with whatever information you want to add in. What I tend to do is just have a basic metadata template that will retrofit all of my files and then I can customise it at a later date through a slightly different function. So what we'll do is we'll just make a basic one up here just for images. So the main one you're interested in if you're into photos is your IPTC core. This is the core information that will appear on each one. So all you do is if you want your name to appear is you just type in your name. Preferably not all in block capitals as I just did. You have to say, excuse me, I just switched from a PC last week. Um, if you want, if you're a photographer, you can put in that you are a photographer. You can put in your city. I don't mind you guys knowing this because you can get it absolutely anywhere on the website for me. I'm not silly enough to put in my mobile number, mind you. My email address, you can put in my business email address. Not that I'm doing this for publicity in the slightest. You can also put in your website, which by the way just happens to be www.lm-photography.co.uk where all of these videos will actually be appearing in the blog. So again, you can add in whatever information you want into here. Now in the first um, video tutorial you heard me speaking quite a lot about keywords and how that can help you redefine your searches. Keywords in all honesty I wouldn't put into a basic metadata template that's going to retrofit because you can't for example say that it's going to be a portrait because if you select the landscape and then later on apply this template to it it's going to come up as a portrait. So just leave that blank for the moment. These ones here unless it's to do with music, video, you're not really, in all honesty, going to be very interested in it. It is just mainly your IPTC core. So all you do, once you've named it, select is what you want, is you just hit save. And that's you. You've saved your metadata template. So then what you would do whenever you have your files that you wish to create this template for, is you would then just select the files, preferably hitting the right buttons, that would help. Yep, those ones will do. And what we do if you want to then apply that template is you just go to your tools menu 
and you go to replace metadata and this is my basic one here but we'll just apply the random one and as you can see certain things just popped in down here and now what you can do is if you just right click one of these and you go to your file info you can see that in you go you have your author author title and these are just various other tabs which in all honesty I have never used in my life um, the contact obviously I use for phone, email and web um, your description you heard me speaking about copyright now this is where you can change this to copyrighted you can also put in a copyright notice which mine is usually this and then your copyright info URL which is your website, blog site, wherever you want people to get hold of you really if they want to use your photos. Now what this essentially does is that if Flickr for instance if you've ever been on there and you've thought that's a great photo I want to save that and you've right clicked and you've not been able to it's usually because someone has it in the metadata template that it's copyrighted. I do this with everything of mine so people cannot take it. So essentially that's what you want to do. Now if you have decided what files these are going on, you've selected them, all you have to do is type in your keywords here like portrait, location, maybe the city it was shot in, where it was shot, all separated by a comma and then you just click OK. And lo and behold you still have that file checked. You can see in here that the images that you have selected these keywords for will be the ones that are redefined and displayed. And again, just untick to take that away. So essentially, that is your metadata template. If you then go to view three, you can see it here. This is the file where I applied most of the metadata to. These are the ones with the basic metadata. And this is the one where I right clicked on the image which you can do with a bunch of images. And then I went to final info and that's when I changed the copyright and just tweaked it with keywords. Um, essentially that is it for creating metadata templates. Um, you can also, if you happen to use image capture, you can automatically select it so that when it's importing files, it will automatically put on your basic generic metadata template. So, yep, yeah, I hope that helped. That's about it for metadata. See you later, guys.